Texas A&M researchers studying a link between communities and the spread of COVID-19 traced clues all the way to the Big Apple. 25 News reporter Hannah King explains what happens in New York City might have an impact on the Brazos Valley. The first case of coronavirus disease was reported on January 21st in Washington state. The first case in New York was not reported until March 1st. In New York City, there were 345 reported cases by the time the World Health Organization declared a global pandemic March 11th. And that number increased to 18,000 cases just two weeks later, prompting New York an epicenter of the virus. The U.S. is very split. You know, there's, there's a, a rural America and an urban America and the uh, I guess the, the transmission patterns are probably very different in, in rural and urban, but this was like a major urban centre, you know, a lot of people living there. Um, that's where we saw the first like massive you know, community transmission. The Texas A&M team of aerospace engineering doctoral student Rich Whittle and assistant professor Anna Artilis collected data from New York City neighborhoods between March 1st and April 5th, and they found socioeconomic factors had a significant impact on the spread of COVID-19. Higher income neighborhoods had less cases. Um, yeah, low positivity rate. Um, neighborhoods with like more dependent children had higher positivity rates. The more densely packed lower income neighborhoods had higher positivity rates, and also neighborhoods with uh, with a higher percentage of uh, black people um, uh, or a lower percentage of white people. Had, had higher positivity rates. In their study with information collected from 177 New York City zip codes, detected cases of COVID-19 and their dependents, population density, median household income, and race were all associated with one another. Based on your research, you know, you're providing information to public health officials that could help in the future. So tell me a little bit about that. And what we hope this happened, we hope that this data and the statistics could inform uh, the people that are responding, you know, that the, people in charge of responding to this pandemic and future pandemics um, in terms of their allocation of, of health care and resources. Within their research, they found an increase of just 5% in the under 18 population associated with a 2.3% increase, an increase of 10,000 people per square kilometer associated with a 2.4% increase, a decrease of $10,000 in median income associated with a 1.6% increase, and with respect to race, a decrease of 10% in the white population associated with a 1.8% increase, while a 10% increase in the black population associated with a 1.1% increase. A public Public health crisis our country and beyond is facing. Aggies here at home contributing where they can. In College Station, Hannah King, 25 News.